Hey guys, it's Ian from Optimize. In this video, we are gonna be showing you how to add someone to your Google Analytics 4 account. So let's dive right in. So this is the home screen. You're gonna likely land on this page when you get into your Google Analytics account. What you need to do is you need to come down here to the admin panel. And then from here, you will do one of two things. So depending on what account you have, you will either add someone to a property, which is essentially a website, and that website may fall in an umbrella account that has multiple Google Analytics accounts, or you just have one website and one account, and that one account is where you would add the person. So you have an option here of the kind of granularity of access you want to assign. If you're unsure, the best place to start is just at the property level, because if you have sensitive information or revenue figures that you don't want to share with other people, I would recommend just doing property. If you don't, and it doesn't really matter, then account is perfectly fine. So I'm going to show you how to do this at the property level. All you need to do is come up here, click the plus icon, it add users, and then you would type in your email address that you want to add and you would assign administrator or whatever level of access that you want to give them. Generally speaking, um, if you don't want them to really, you know, manage users, then use editor or marketer. You could, they could edit your audiences, or if you literally just don't want them to be able to do anything and they just can view, then just give them viewer. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Um, you also have the ability to not share cost metrics and revenue as well, if that is sensitive information. And then all you gotta do is click add. And then voila, your user is added. They'll get an email invitation. And from there, they will be able to sign in. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.